Hello everyone and welcome back to my Transgalactic Trek in Elite Dangerous. In this episode I hope to unlock Soul System. It looks like I am at 99% midshipman rank with the Federation and I believe that once I get to the next rank I should unlock Soul System and I'll get to go there. I am at a place called Toon. Uh, Toon's Wart is the station's name and I'm here because people told me that this was a good place to pick up missions to increase my rank and it is it is indeed I did not take the suggestion to hop back and forth between open play and uh, solo mode in order to uh, maximize these charity missions that you see here I did pick up the charity missions but I also did the other missions that are available the reason why it's a good place to increase your rank with the Federation is because all the all the system factions are Federation factions and there are six of them so that's quite a lot of possible missions. Uh, most stations have, you know, two or three Federation and then some other factions like Independent. Uh, so all of these are things that can increase your rank. And also the charity missions in particular have a high effect and reputation. Some of the career missions too. Um, this is just a medium. But I did some of the medium missions just to change things up. But anyway, let me try and accept this mission. And just for good measure, I'll accept the, this mission as well. And let's see if that does the trick. Okay. And donate. Alright. And here... Sometimes it takes a while for things to... Oh great, midshipman 100%. Okay, it's gotta be like that, is it? Um... Hold on, let me see if it pops up with uh, another mission that says, Hey, how would, you, how would you like to increase your rank with us? Um, here we go. Uh, Federal Navy Auxiliary Covert Training Pro... Well, that's not exactly... It. This is what I want. Promotion opportunity with the required combat rank. I didn't want a combat rank. Dang it. What, they're, ne they're not going to let me promote unless I have a combat rank? Well, that's that's a little bit uh, further along, I guess. Well, I guess I could get this one if I had a larger cargo hold. Maybe, maybe I can quickly outfit for more cargo. I've got 36 max right now. Maybe I can fit another cargo hold and I don't really need the fuel scoop. Um... Looks like the max I can put there is four. Yeah. Uh, I can't buy back a discovery scanner here either. Planetary approach suite you can't replace. Uh, should I dump the shield generator and... Oh boy. That had to be 41 cargo capacity, huh? Well, I might regret this, but let's go for it now. And I'll pick a shield generator up the quickest I can. All right. Okay, now we have enough for that rank progression mission, right? Please. I just don't. I I'm still harmless, and I'm sort of like wanting to keep it that way for the time being. Not forever, but for the time being. Alright, so this should get me to the next rank. I have to transfer aquaponics systems to here? I guess I have to find aquaponics systems? Okay, aquaponics systems. Where can I get those? I hope this isn't too difficult uh, sort of mission. Is it listed here? No. That's gotta make it difficult. How much time do I have? Oh, I've got a fine to pay off too. It looks like three hours. Need to find aquaponic systems in three hours and... As you see uh, here, uh, we could potentially see where they're imported from. Oh no, there it is, there it is. Uh, Moros. I, I've been to Moros. Let me let me try Moros and see if I can get them there. 
Okay, well, we're gonna have a long trip. Dana Port is uh, 208 light seconds away from the jump point. Maybe I can pick one of the other locations instead. Uh, this seems closer. Yeah, only a thousand light seconds. Alright, let's plot route to Bounds Hub. And if any place has aquaponics, I hope they do. Well, there aren't any other stations in the system. So if uh, these guys get their stuff from Aurai, then there should be some aquaponics there. Alright. Wait, uh, th there aren't any available here, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's it. You can see I'm flying a Cobra Mark III. Uh, during a live stream, I decided to uh, pick one up and fit it out. Sort of trying to be more of a Han Solo kind of character. Uh, so some smuggling involved. Still no shooting. Uh, so yeah, still harmless and everything. And helpless in CQC. If I'm gonna learn how to shoot things, I'll probably do CQC first. The only times I've tried it, though, I haven't been able to get in on any competition. Whoop, whoop, forward, forward, forward. Hull integrity compromised. Uh, hull integrity compromised? What? Wait, 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 wait. Does not having a sh having shields cause problems? I don't know. Maybe not having shields is a really bad idea. Landing gear retracted. I don't like the hull integrity compromise thing. Okay, off we go. Frameshift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Okay, bounce hub. Here we come. I sure hope they have aquaponic systems. Okay, that worked. I think the entrance is on this side. Scan detected. Okay, well good that we have nothing that we have to worry about scans for. This is purely a clean mission. Landing gear deployed. There's actually a sort of door thing there. That's for an orca, huh? Just refuel, and it looks like we need repairs. So, uh, yeah, not having shields apparently causes some dings to the hull. Alright, uh, not bulletin board. Aquaponic systems. Oh, excellent. All the aquaponic systems. Look at that. 
11,000 of them. I just need 41. Okay, so uh, verifying that we have enough for our mission. Yes, we do. Alright, let's head back to Toon. Uh, in fact, uh, let's select that from here. Or, uh, actually we could just go like that. Alright. Lots of ships around. Whoa, that one came close. Faster, faster, faster. Okay, safe disengage. Again, don't want to be interdicted or anything. Hopefully we can pick up the same shield generator that I had in the reclamation department here. I don't know. What, what infraction? Jeez. Okay, refuel all. Apparently we get 10 credits worth of repairs necessary every time we take off and that's it. When we don't have shields. Okay, give cargo. Alright. Now... I am a petty officer, 9% even. Started off right. Um, let me back out of this and select it again and maybe something new will pop up. Okay, well, it's not telling me that I can go to the soul system. I mean, uh, I have to get a permit, right? I don't know how to get a permit. Let me, let me try and get back my shield first. Okay. Let's see. Um, it's one of these. I equip. There's no buyback? Ah. Well, here's the, here it is. That's the one, isn't it? I think that was the one. They sure don't have any other shield generators, and I didn't see them selling shield generators. I think that's just my shield generator that they're trying to sell. Okay, well, I'm gonna buy it back, yeah. Seems like the right one. Okay. So, I have shields. Now, well, uh, let's see. Can I target soul system? I mean... Does it automatically happen that I get a permit, or do I actually have to get a permit through the bulletin board or something? I'll look online if it turns out I can't uh, do this. Requires soul system permit. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I see two solutions online. One is to just uh, log off and uh, get back into the game and then I'll get it. Or, uh, we have to go close to Soul System and we'll get a mission to go into Soul System. So, two possibilities according to Reddit. And so, I'll, I'll do both. First, I'll log off, then I'll log back in, then we'll go to a system close to Soul System. Uh, and then we'll see if we can go to Soul System. Okay, I am back in the game. I can! Okay, plot route. Alright, so this is going to be my first visit to Soul System. Got my shields. <laughs> it's bound to be a busy place. Uh, so there's probably going to be a lot of shenanigans around. Headed for Soul System and a Cobra Mark III. I have no idea what one does in Soul System. I'm sure there are things to do, hopefully. And once I get there, it'll begin a new phase in all of my exploration. And I think the next thing I'm gonna do as far as exploration in... in Elite Dangerous is to try and find life. Uh, apparently there have been signs of alien civilizations and 
and uh, I think we need to pursue that. Uh, so visit some of those locations that people have found, alien civilizations. I think my uh, Han Solo style character is also going to be obsessed with uh, Thargoids and the possibility that they may come back. Uh, perhaps some of his ancestors, I mean it might be sort of a, a legacy thing. Anyway. I'll think about the exact backstory, but I think I want to have more of a role-playing thing going. Four, three, two, one, engage. And the hunt for the Thargoids may take us to the very edges of the galaxy. Okay, there it is, jumping to Soul System next, 17.5 light years. Probably should have picked up my fuel scoop again. I've got 40, 40 capacity right now, I could have thrown the fuel scoop back on, but I guess it's not that important. I generally refuel at the stations anyway. Uh, it's cheap enough. Fuel scoop is only really important when you're going away from civilized space, which is the opposite of what I'm doing. Frameshift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Okay. Here we are. Special music. And uh, that is our sun. And there are people flying around, so uh, before they get me. Because, <laughs> I mean, you gotta expect that people are gonna be hanging out trying to nab people who are, you know, just hanging out. Daedalus Station is a station I've heard of before. Let's visit Mercury. I don't know, apparently Mercury is a place we can land on, too. Mercury, Europa, Callisto. A lot of the moons of Saturn are landable. And Uranus, and Neptune, and Charon. Or on Pluto we can land on. Not Pluto itself, it has an atmosphere. Just a tiny, tiny little atmosphere. So heck, uh, let's, let's do some landings, I suppose. That's the thing to do, right? So we'll try and land on, uh, on the, well, at least Mercury, and uh, maybe some of my other favorites. I can't land on all of these. Europa sounds interesting. Funny, I thought Mercury would look grayer. It looks a little bit beige. Yeah, that's a bit too beige for me. It looks a lot like some of the other planets. Instead of looking distinctly Mercury. I wonder if I, if I had a map of Mercury, would the craters be accurate? I do have a map of Mercury somewhere, I didn't think to pull it out though. Okay, well we're getting into orbital mode. I just got to land in a random location rather than that uh, particular city, like Airlock City there. Orbital flight engaged. Mother Gaia is, I guess, the official name of the... of what, exactly? Gaia is technically Earth, isn't it? Why would it be the system name? I mean, why would it be the name of the sun? Strange. Okay, we are in glide mode. Again, not going anywhere in particular. Just gonna say I sit down on Mercury. And again, a little bit light colored. I 
Let's see now. I'll save driving around here for another day. Doesn't look too difficult to drive on. I'd prefer some more challenging terrains. So can we land on the moon? I gotta check that. We need to be able to land on the moon. Right? Okay, landing gear down. Landing gear deployed. Okay, slow down. Okay, alignment okay. Oh yeah, it was suitable just a while ago. Okay, that's fine. Let's just go straight down then. Careful, careful. There we go. We have landed on Mercury. Uh, we really need to have co-pilots available. I mean, I, I should have I should have a co-pilot, darn it. I don't care if it's an NPC, there should just be a character sitting in that seat. It's just very lonely out here otherwise. Maybe somebody who makes snarky comments will suffice. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, uh, let's continue our tour. Landing gear retracted. Actually, it might have been a good idea for me to hold off buying a Cobra Mark III until I got here, because I think you can get a, a discount on the Cobra Mark III at Daedalus Station if you're a petty officer, which I am now, of course. So, yeah. Could have gotten a break on the... But then again, the price of this ship is not mainly the Cobra Mark III itself. It's all the fittings. I mean, the Cobra Mark III is like 350,000 credits. And the fittings set me back like 7 million. So, uh, so yeah. I mean, what uh, does it say what the value of the ship is? No, it doesn't say the value of the ship, but the rebuy cost is 345,000 credits. Which is, uh... Well, certainly the most expensive ship I've tried out. So, we obviously can't land on Venus. They'll eventually allow us to land on bodies with atmospheres, but we can't do that yet. I hope landing on atmospheric bodies isn't, uh, like in another season. I hope they do that this season, but there's no indication for sure that they're going to do it this season. Each season you have to pay for separately, that's how it works. So you get uh, you get all the updates for this year. A season is a year. So you get all the updates for this year and generally they have four updates. And We are going to get character customization and the ability to team up. Uh, I, supposedly we can have other people on board our ship sometime during this year, maybe by the fall. So uh, then I may have a co-pilot, that would be nice. That's probably the number one thing. I want to be able to EVA, is actually character customization, EVA, and uh, having other people aboard my ship are things that I want to do. I don't know, is that what Venus looks like? Well, it's reasonably convincing anyway. It's very peachy. Very peachy. I mean, I suppose they must have gotten it right, right? I like the green hue, like there. Still looks like a giant peach. Okay. Time for Earth. We're actually, uh, right now closer to Mars. Let's go to Mars first, then. Yeah. Mars is right in front of us. Now that's dependent on exactly where the planets are in their orbits, right? And of course we travel past light speed, so... Now this Holman transfer business. 
They called Mars an Earth-like world. Well, that's, uh, that's ambitious. Unless there's been some serious terraforming I don't know about. Maybe there has been. It would be really cool if we go to Mars and we see that they have terraformed the place a bit. Not totally, I mean, just, just a bit. Let's see. If it just looks like, uh, good old Mars, the red planet. I don't know if it should deserve the title Earth-like world. I don't know, maybe uh, here in Earth space the Federation has good security so people don't interdict. Maybe there are some rules about that? I don't know. Maybe if you interdict somebody, some huge, huge ship comes out and destroys you. Well, I'll find out once somebody tries to interdict me. That looks suspiciously blue. Well, I, I think uh, they did terraform Mars, apparently. Quite quite more than I expected. That's a lot of terraforming. Does that mean they might have terraformed the moon? I mean, if they go this far with Mars... I mean, I expected, you know, like, Valus and Marineris to be filled up kind of thing. Not... not ocean world. That's probably a waste of water right there. Way too much water used to do that. Hmm. Let's let's go to Earth and see about the moon in particular. Let me actually target the moon. Rocky body. Okay, well the moon is still the moon then. They gave Mars all the love, but the moon is just uh is just its place. It would be really, really difficult to terraform the moon. But considering what they just did with Mars, I mean, you can't be sure, but it does say ro rocky body, so the moon gets no love. It'd be nice to see some little cities on there, though. Little lights. There weren't many uh, visible cities, but then again, it was the daylight side. Maybe tough to see them on Mars, I mean. Uh, maybe on the nighttime side, we would see cities. Oh, moon. Why can't we land on you? You don't have an atmosphere. Probably the terrain generation needs some work. This isn't a generic terrain after all. Well, that's definitely the moon. No changes. No apparent attempts to establish colonies on the place. Hold on. That's a little bit blurry, isn't it? Wait, there are some very telltale lines along the whole thing. Hold on, well, let's just park here. What are those lines? don't think those are the normal sort of impact crater kind of things. The, the texture is sort of blurry too. I mean, even in, compared to other planets. I mean, you'd think that it'd be exceptionally sharp. Actually, it's quite blurry. There shouldn't be any problem loading the textures. And you'd expect it at least to be as good as the other planets since... I mean, based on just sheer settings. Oh, it's very... Gotta say, it's disappointing. Hmm. Let's take a look at Earth. can't get Earth wrong, right? I'm gonna have to actually look that up on the internet. I'm sure other people have noted that the moon is a little bit lackluster. I wonder if there's an explanation for why. Oh, maybe there has to be a moon permit? Hold on, let me check. Is there a moon landing permit? It doesn't say that, though. I'm trying to slow down. Went a little bit too fast here. Now it's Africa. Eh, it's not that good. The clouds are good. 
But, you know, the clouds are probably procedurally generated. The terrain is very... Or maybe that's intentional. But the, it is pretty sharp from orbit, isn't it? I've seen pictures and all. It should be pretty sharp. That's... that's... Heck, real solar system does a better job than that. In uh, Kerbal. I mean, you can tell, I mean, it's not my graphic settings because you can see the clouds are good. You can barely make out whales in Cornwall there. Iceland there. Scandinavia. Finland actually looks a little bit shortened. Okay, well, I better just pay some attention to where I'm going. Well, if that's what it looks like. And how about the nighttime side? Uh, uh, at least some city lights and such? Please tell me you haven't completely abandoned the place. Just because it doesn't look all that great anymore. Well, I don't know exactly where I'm at here, but... I see lots of very light-colored clouds. Now, there's, there's, there's some city lights going on over there. Right at the top there. Alright, alright, alright. Let me move on and I'll look online whether... Maybe it's just me, maybe it's... Everybody gets this sort of quality out of it. You know what, I'll, I'll save the, the rest of it for next time. Maybe I'll make some landings on... On various worlds, if they look good. So yeah, I'm gonna park it here at the Earth. I'm gonna come back to you with information about whether this is just how it is, or maybe I've got some graphical issue. Yeah, oh, well, you can see city lights here. So yeah, we'll we'll park it at Earth, and uh, or I'll I'll dock somewhere, and then I'll. Uh, I'll do another episode soon showing the rest of the solar system. How about that? Alright, so on that note, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.